Well, hello, Tim. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. I got your plan. Thanks for so much for sending it in. You were asking about um, the unnecessary lines that you see in the siding on the rear elevation of your building. And yeah, I think we can take a look at that. Also, you're saying parts of the roof uh, wrap around the house protrudes into the house when it comes into the other roof lines and you're looking to get that fixed as well so the first thing i'm going to do is i got your model open here i'm going to double click on the rear elevation to take a look at these lines and as i zoom in i can see this is probably what you're talking about all these lines here and all these lines here why does chief do that yeah so it, it is obvious the first thing you want to just check is make sure this wall is lined up perfectly with that wall as well as your attic walls and when you think that maybe they even are is to also adjust the actual walls themselves so let me show you what i mean and we'll go ahead and take this into a 3d mode and we'll keep it in the low color this is the low color 3d mode so you can also see these lines in this mode as well because this whatever you see here is pretty much what you print on the elevation as well okay so the first thing i would do is i'm going to check this model i'm going to select this wall and it's actually getting the whole house so i'm going to hit tab on the keyboard which is the same thing as hitting the next button so that selects this wall and then i'm going to open it up and i'm going to go to the structure and i'm going to see that you don't have default wall type height checked or it unchecked it automatically when you manually move that wall into position and i'm just going to click OK and that's going to correct that wall the way it should be. The same with this wall now, it can be the same way. I can open it up and go to my structure tab, make sure everything is selected on between the default wall top and bottom height and click OK. And then lastly, I will choose this wall and do the exact same there as well. So go to structure and click that on as well and thereby it should correct all those lines that you saw being drawn now this one extra line that you see here chiefs doing that automatically because of and we're going to use the eraser tool this is a great tool this s tool delete surfaces it actually doesn't get rid of it it only destroys it in the 3d view but the actual siding is still there and so i'm just going to take off the siding around this so we can kind of see what's happening and that is that this wall here, that is this wall here, protrudes when it hits this wall just a little bit into this wall, giving it that look. So if I close this, go back to my elevation view, and you can see the layers are still missing there, I can simply hit this S button again a bunch of times to rebuild it back to the way it was, or I can simply close it out and reopen the the elevation and it'll restore it the way it was as well so with that i would get rid of it by manipulating that wall but i'm going to show you one better i think you'll like the tool i'm going to show you next on that meanwhile let's solve this problem i'm going to go over here and do the exact same thing i'm going to open up this wall go to my structure say no let's use default and should fix that and then again we're going to select that open it up go to my roof structure make sure it's all on default and then lastly maybe this piece but it looks like it's generating good so now you see it's nice and clean the way it wants now let's send this to an elevation view to a layout so i'm going to create a new layout i'm just going to create one of my layouts and i'm going to bring it onto an empty page here where we can work this page we'll use and i'm going to send this to layout send this view to layout send it to three entire plan quarter inch scale blah 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 and it's going to send it over so i'm going to send it on over It'll generate the lines for me and should plop it right on the plan. Now, if I zoom in, I notice I still have some extra lines that it's drawing here. Like we left this on purpose to show. And this one, I'm not even sure why I did that one, but I can double click, just kind of double check that this wall is aligned with the wall below, which it looks like it was, as well as that wall. I'm going to come in here with this, making sure that that's correct. Yep. Yeah, that should all flow nicely. So Chief should not be generating that extra line right there. But either way, this does show a great, easy solution. This tool over here is called the Edit 
layout lines. And that means that these lines here are all editable. So I can easily come in here, select the lines I don't want to see, and hit delete on the keyboard. And I can easily delete away any lines I don't want to see, thereby making the plan perfect. I can even go in and edit these lines individually. Because some people like to show, like, for instance, this line is technically closer than that line. So you could make these lines a little thicker, say 10 thick, and leave that at 1. That way, when you're looking at this in an elevation view, this is more bolder, and it is bolder because it's closer to you than that one is farther away. So people really like to get technical in their elevations and give a lot of detail. You can actually use that edit tool to go and select each one of these lines and make them a little different thicknesses. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, that's how you mess with those lines. Let's go to the roof issue that you're having. And, um, you know, I'll save that. Sure, I'll save that view. And I'll cross section. I don't need that. And let's go back to the plan view and try to figure out what you mean by the roof protruding into the house. So the easiest way I'm going to look for things is um, first, let me do this. I'm going to go to 3D. I'm going to go lighting, adjust sunlight. And I'm going to select this right here, Sun Follows Camera. That way, whichever way I turn it, I can see the bright light to the house, and it's good. So if I select this roof plane, I can see, uh-oh, yeah, this one's definitely cutting into the house. So I can hit 3 on my keyboard to cut my roof, and I'm going to cut it right there. And I'm going to bring one edge out to here. And it's probably easier to do that in the 2D, but I wanted to find out where it was punching through the house. That one looks like it's stopping at the house. That one looks good, like it's stopping through the house. This one definitely looks like it's going through the house. It looks like you tried to cut already because I see a cut mark there. So I'm just going to bring that cut mark up there. Take this one, do the same thing. Hit 3 on the keyboard and punch it right about there. And pull that back. And now by doing this, I am avoiding the roof from actually cutting through the wall. And so you see it through the wall, right? Like that's probably what you were experiencing. So that side looks all good. Let's come around to this side and just double check. Here we go. Another one. So I'm going to go three cut here. And uh, I'm going to pull this guy back to there. And it looks like I need one more cut. So I'm going to go three cut about there. I'm hitting three on the keyboard to cut. It's also the same thing as this icon right here, the break line. So I'm going to grab that corner and put him like that. That way the roof now is interjecting in the walls the correct way. It's not actually going through the walls. Uh, another little thing I can do is anytime I see corner boards that aren't complete, I can add those. So like I noticed on some of these, I didn't have it. So we can go to our corner boards and we can just apply and then adjust as needed. So they only show up where they're supposed to. But that's been Messing with Roofs and CAD Lines here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you learned something new. I'm going to talk to you guys again soon.